Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that, that many Python developers encounter. Our viewer is struggling with running unit tests in Python, specifically with the error message indicating that their files cannot be found in the correct directory. Let's dive into the details of their setup and see how we can help them resolve this problem. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. To address the issue of your Python unit test not finding the correct files, we need to understand the directory structure and how Python resolves file paths. The error message indicates that Python cannot locate the JSON file. This is likely due to the current working directory not being set correctly when running the tests. To fix this, you can modify your test script to set the working directory to the location of your JSON files. You can do this by adding the following code at the beginning of your test function. Alternatively, you can specify the full path to the JSON files directly in your test. This ensures that Python knows exactly where to find them, regardless of the current working directory. Finally, ensure that your IDE LEclipse is configured to run tests from the correct directory. Check the run configurations to set the working directory appropriately. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If your Python unit test can't find files in the correct directory, try using the sys module. At the start of your test file, you can append the directory path to the system path. This simple addition should help your test file locate the necessary imports. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're having trouble importing files for testing in a subdirectory using Lyclips, here's a quick fix. First, right-click on your test file. Next, select Run As and then Run Configurations. Choose your specific file name from the list. Now go to the Arguments tab. Set the working directory to File System and select your directory. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.